Okay, we are in um, into round 13 now. Now, round 13 does have an error in the instructions. So we've sent out or should have sent out just a quick um, errata note on that one. It will become obvious as we go around, but um, I will point it out to you as well. Right, so we're going to start off um, with our normal two chain. But after that, we're going to do, um, you know, last round we did those two front post treble two together those two stitches came one we're now going to front post treble all three um, of the remaining stitches together to make that one point so let's get on without further ado so exactly the same as how we work the front post two treble together which is to say that you get um you you start making your treble but you stop when you've got two loops on the hook as there and then you move on to your next one and get it to the same stage so yarn around the hook and if if you see I'm actually putting my hook behind it's not going through there like that it's going through the top because the the two stitches have come together at the top so there's kind of almost two uh, posts joining there so this my my hook goes behind both segments if you like so pull the yarn through, yarn over and through two loops. I've now got three loops on the hook and I will leave it there. Yarn over and round the final post of the last front post treble from previous round. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. And if you can see, I've now got four loops on the hook and I'm gonna pick up my yarn and go through all four of them. Okay, so now that has pulled all four, oh, sorry, all three remaining stitches together into one point, if you can see. And we have now got a beautiful pointy petal. Fabulous. Right, we're now going to, if I show you our, here's one I made earlier, um, we're going to start making these, um, what would you call those? Loops? Yeah, like these chain spaces and they really are just chains, so there's nothing spectacularly worrisome about them. Um, we're going to do seven chain. So seven chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, and whoops, seven. Okay, and we're now going to treble three trebles together from the previous round. So exactly as we've kind of done the front post trebles together, it's the same principle, except where we put our hook. So yarn over, I'm gonna go into the top of a treble stitch in the normal way, yarn over. So now I've got three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through two to leave me with two. So leave it there, move across to the next treble. So yarn over through the top of the next treble. That's one. Yarn over through two, which leaves me with three loops on the hook. And then we're going to do yarn over into the next treble along. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. And that leaves me with four loops on the hook. And I'm just gonna pick up and go through all four. Okay, so you can see I've brought three of those trebles together into one now. So I'm going to repeat that two more times because we're asked to repeat that part three times. So I'm going to do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now the trebling three trebles together. So you can see... Um, where are my one, two, three? It's these three here, all right? So the middle of the next three that we're traveling together is that center treble that comes all the way up, all right? So just make sure you're kind of um, starting with the right one. Okay, so I'm going into the top of the one immediately to the right of that center point. Yarn over, pull through two, leaving two loops on the hook. Now I'm going into the top of the center one. Yarn over, leaving three loops on the hook, and I'm now going to go into the one just to the left of center. Okay, yarn over through two, that leaves four loops on the hook. Pull through all four loops. 
Okay, and that is my second lot of um, three trebles together. And the third repeat, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then trebling the last three available trebles together, just as before. Okay, so into the top of that one. Leave two into the top of the next one and leave two, sorry, leave three now and into the top of the last one. And now I've got four and I'm going to go through all four, one, two, three and four. Now at this point, I have completed those three, uh, there are three repeats of the seven chain, three treble, three treble together. Um, but we're missing, I think, a seven chain because I want to do another seven chain um, to jump me over to do this next um, front post treble two together. Okay, so that's missing from the pattern, but we will we will have sent out a an errata for that. So apologies for that, chaps. But here we go: one, two, three, four, five six and seven and that um, is going to complete that repeat so let me just walk you through it one more time um, we've we've got our three front post trebles together here to create the completed point of our petal then we've got seven chain and three treble together one two and three seven chain, three treble together, one, two, and three, the center one being that center treble that comes all the way up. Seven chain, three treble together, which is the last three. And then we're finishing with that missing seven chain. Okay, now I'm gonna work all the way around here because we're closing this round in a slightly different way. Okay, so I'll see you at the end. I'm just at the very end now of round 13 and I'm doing the last of the trebling three together and three okay so yarn over and through all of those loops and I've got one more of that seven chain to do one two three four five six and seven and now with this round we're going to just close with a slip stitch this time so not the special one special closing that we've been doing uh, um, previously just literally popping a slip stitch in the top of the front post treble okay so slip stitch Okay, and it's, I know it's curly, but don't worry because we're going to block it if you remember at the end and it'll, it'll um, flatten it all out beautifully. Just before you move on, just go around and make sure you've got, because of that mistake, I do apologise for the error in the pattern there, but each of your segments should have four loops at the top. So there should be 32 in total going all the way around at the end of round 13. Round 14 is super straightforward. We're just doing bazillions of double crochet into these little loops. Double crochet UK terminology, obviously. So um, just straight away, just kick straight off and show you what it looks like when you've put your seven double crochet into each of the little loops. So there's no variation. All has got all of them have got exactly the same. No um fiddly parts, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And so it's just gonna look like that. And when you go to the next one along, there's no chaining or anything. You're just literally moving along and doing seven in the next one. So that's all you're gonna do all the way around. I shall do that and see you at the end. Right, here we go then, finishing the last of the, um, seven double crochet into the chain spaces or chain loops all the way around. Pretty. So that just gives it a more finished look, doesn't it? Just to 
um, finish off those little outside loops. Okay, and that's the end of round 14. And we're just going to close this round the same as we did the previous one, which is with a slip stitch in the top of the first double crochet. Okay, so that's round 14 completed.